There's nothing quite like a kilo bar of silver. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know I am a sucker for a big chunky bar of silver. And this brand new bar that I have been gifted by Europa Bullion certainly is pretty stunning. So today we're gonna to have a good close look at this and showcase what it's all about. everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver and gold. And this week's episode is sponsored very generously by Europa Bullion, who have gifted me, I get to keep this, a one kilo bar of silver, their new Goddess Europa Kilo Bar. It's pretty cool, it's stunning, I love it, but I wanna make it abundantly clear that whilst this has been gifted to me, it was not done so in any kind of quid pro quo. We are here to give an open, honest, fair review. I'm gonna talk about this as a product, my pros and cons for it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, feedback on what could be better and what I like a lot about it as well. So that's my general kind of disclaimer here. Whilst it's gifted, I am very much not uh, in the pocket of Europa Bullion, so to speak. And to that end as well, we don't even have an affiliate bonus code for ourselves for these. There is a link down in the description below to Europa Bullion's website where you can go and purchase these bars, but that is in no way at all related to us. We don't get any commission, any kickback or anything. I suppose in a way this is the kickback, but as I said, it's not in a kind of quid pro quo way to uh, pump it. We are here to give an open, honest, fair review. So go and check it out if you're interested. The link is down in the description below to the Europa Bullions website where you can find this bar and many of their other products as well. We're also going to crack this out of the plastic because that's my first piece of feedback for Europa Bullion. Uh, I see a lot of big bars of silver that are often put in plastic and I've always hated that. I, I have to say I've, you know, when you buy a kilo of silver, you want it to be, you know, something you can touch, something you can feel and look at and hold and enjoy. Um, you know, it's, it's a big piece of silver and it's not necessarily something that is going to uh, you know, appreciate with a massive amount of premium growth like a special collectible coin will. But um, for this one, I guess it's a little bit of both worlds really because it is a very well-made bar. It's a very pretty bar indeed. And you can see the plastic is doing its job already of, uh, you know, taking the grease of my fingerprints and oils of my fingers off it. But at the same time, I'm a slave to shiny shiny and I really like seeing what things look like outside of plastic. I've done it so many times before for things like the Rwanda um, coin series. You can see already the difference that's making looking at that beautiful. Um, I've already done that many times before with the Rwanda coin series to, uh, to really kind of showcase what they look like outside of the plastic, of the original mint packaging plastic, because it does make a big difference. And I think you'll see that here as we open up this particular bar from its plastic wrapping. You can see, I think there, just the sheer difference of the plastic. I think it makes it makes a difference to me anyway. So that's my first piece of feedback. I think it's a bit of mixed feedback really. Uh, I understand why this bar has been put in plastic to preserve it. It is a coin bar at the end of the day. It is not just a you know, generic one kilo bar of silver like you would see so many other times uh, out there. But at the same time, I just love holding silver in my bare hands without plastic there. Um, it does, oh, there we go, it's all come off now. It does look good. It's just super, super pretty. I mean, this is enhanced no end by the lack of plastic. So yeah, do what you will with yours if you get them. But for me, that is a brilliant, brilliant looking piece of silver. By no means is it easy to get that kind of finish. You can see just quite how reflective it is. I'm gonna try and hide behind the camera. Um, I was really worried about filming with this because it is quite reflective, but you know, to get that kind of finish on this bar is, is I think, a really uh, difficult thing on a mass-produced big bar like this. And this is really very high quality, very nice indeed. So there's the entirety of the bar. There's the design, the Europa Goddess herself, uh, which has got some steeped history within uh, Greek and European history and mythology. It's, of course, where we get the word Europe from, the pan-continental uh, European continent is, uh, is from the goddess Europa in history and, and uh, mythology. So there's the bull and there is her riding the bull as well. Goddess Europa under there. Fine silver, four nines. Serial number there as well with 1,000 grams. Uh, so in terms of design, uh, it is relatively plain. Uh, that's my kind of negative point, I suppose, on it. You know, if this is a... Uh, 
it, it's a striking a medium though, I think, because you've got this as a kilo bar of silver, which at current prices works out at about 750 pounds. It's about 870 euros at the moment. I don't know quite what that would be in dollars, probably closer, or over a thousand dollars, I would think. Um, so it is a premium piece of silver, but that's kind of how we all live and work in the European Union at the moment. Premium pieces of silver are pretty much the norm. So, uh, you know, from that perspective, you would want and maybe expect huge amounts of detail and pretty design. But at the same time, this one is a very nice piece because of the reflective shiny finish. It really is quite a sight to behold. It's it's lovely and the high relief, you can really feel the depth of the, uh, or the, oh, sorry, the relief, I should say, of the design here. And I think that looks really good. Really good size as well. And the, the strike, the finish on the queen's head is quite honestly, incredibly good for just a generic bar of silver, a, you know, one kilo giant bar. I think that is incredibly well done and it's really nice finish. It contrasts very well with the background. The, you know, front design uh, with the with the bull here, I like the fact that it's just, it's segmented in its design. There's all of these little tiny bits which make up the picture of the bull. Uh, I like that. It's modern, it's contemporary, it's different. And I think actually with the plain background, it all works really well together. So there's always a design, uh, you know, it's like a design premium boundary, isn't there, where you go, if you go too far one way and you make something extra complicated and extra special, it adds to the premium, it adds to the complexity of the die that needs to be made to, to stamp these, to make these, uh, and that, of course, adds to cost at the other end. So this is a good, happy medium of high quality with very nice prettiness as well and aesthetic nature to it. So uh, all things told, I am a fan of the design. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this is that it is a coin bar. So for those that don't really know why that is significant, um, in the European Union, um, if you buy silver from Estonia and other countries as well, coin bars are VAT exempt, or they're at least at the same category as other coins. So in Estonia, that's 0%. Uh, if you're in Belgium or wherever it might be, it's on the margin schemes and they're slightly different. But the point I'm making is that if this was just a generic bar of silver, kilo bar of silver without any uh, coin denominations on it, it would have 20% VAT on it. And it would just be an, you know, an uncompetitive lump of silver in a market where there are countless other products that are like that. There are not very many coin bars out there. Uh, so to have another coin bar on the market is a really good addition and it allows certainly European customers anyway to be able to buy big chunky bars of silver which are some of the most popular out there um, at a decent price without the worries of the VAT. Now for us in the United Kingdom of course we have the wonders of Brexit to consider. Uh, so getting hold of these in the United Kingdom is unfortunately going to be a pain in the backside. It's going to entail uh, probably import charges, VAT. That's something you'll have to discuss with the Europa Bullion Company themselves. Uh, when I was sent this, it was sent as a commercial sample, as a gift, so I did not have VAT, but that is my, by no means uh, any guarantee that you won't get it if you're in the UK and you buy it. Um, that is not what the Europa Bullion Company do for their customers. They don't, for, you know, they don't cheat, they don't make rules up, uh, and that's really important. They don't smuggle these in and everything. It's, it, you know, anything that they do is, of course, above board, and that's really important. Uh, so if you are in an English, uh, sorry, English, if you're a Great Britain customer, United Kingdom customer, um, I would suggest that you contact them directly and see what you're working with, what to expect, because the last thing you want is to go ahead and buy this. Uh, you know, at £750 and then have to pay £300, well, hang on, what would that be? £150, sorry, in VAT on top of that. It would make it a lot more expensive for sure. Um, so that's something to factor in for us uh, in the United Kingdom. But for those of you who are, for example, in the United States, uh, I know this company, I know Europa Bullion will ship worldwide and they have done many times before. So if you're in the US, they uh, they have them in stock and with everything that's going on at the moment with the silver squeeze and all of that movement that's going on and the alleged mass shortage of silver on the market, um, you know, from the Euro Europa Bullion's uh, perspective to mint, I think they've minted um, a good number of these from memory, from what he was telling me, the owner of the company was telling me they, they've made a large amount of them. So um, there are a huge number of silver bars in stock 
big weights like this. So definitely worth uh, you know checking them out if you are on the market to buy silver. Uh, all in all, I think it's a really, really good product and I'm very happy to keep it within my stack. It's one of these uh, items which I will be holding on to for a while, I have no doubt. Um, one thing I haven't actually talked about as well, 9999 silver. So 49 silver, that is a big deal. Like you don't get that on bars particularly often. Uh, big chunky bars of silver often will come in 39 silver minimum. Um, but 49s is a really interesting and good addition to it. You see it very much in coin form silver, but to have the technology, to have the refinery, get it to that quality in that size is really, really good. And to put that in perspective, that means on this entire 1000 gram piece of silver, there is only 0.1 of a gram that is not silver. Uh, and I know that's always going to be about the micro elements that are in these, and it's often when you get a 999 silver bar, you won't necessarily have one gram of impurities. It won't be just that this corner up here has got one gram of copper in it, or whatever the other impurities are. But the point is that, you know, it, it is better than 999 silver. It is nicer than 999 silver. It is a higher quality. It is a higher production quality. And that is really good. And I applaud and commend Europa Bullion for that. So that's my fair, open, honest review of it. I think it is a interesting product, certainly different product. I think it looks great. I think, uh, you know, from the balance of price versus quality versus like, you know, exciting design, this is struck a good medium. Uh, it's certainly not going to necessarily set the world on fire with, you know, design uh, being groundbreaking, but at the same time, it's a really good product at a good price. So from that perspective, I think it's got a good solid 8 out of 10 on it. I really enjoy it. I think it's great. I mean, I get to keep this bar, so in certain ways I am biased, but honestly, there was no quid pro quo for this. It's been a pleasure working with Europa Bullion on making a video for this product for them and a big thank you to them once again for the sponsorship of this video and the support that they're giving our channel. Uh, I do appreciate that and it's very, very generous of you. And it's also thanks down to a lot of uh, you guys out there who watch what we do and enjoy what we do. And um, you know, it's, it's only thanks to you guys for watching that we have the opportunity to showcase and even be gifted things like this. So a big thank you to everybody for watching. So as I said, there is a link down in the description below to Europa Bullion's website. There's absolutely zero effect affiliate bonuses or commission for us for you purchasing that bar. Uh, as I said, this video is not quid pro quo. We are just making it so that you can make up your own minds. If you like it, you like it and you can go and buy it. Otherwise, a big thank you to you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and review, put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. Otherwise, that is it from me today. A big thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.